Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So today I am in Castle Lines, old church ruin here in Graveyard in County Cork. And that's the old church, as we see there in front of us. And I think it's 14th century, that old church. But uh, not only the church, but there's two mausoleums here in the old graveyard as well. One of them is belonged to the Barrymore family, who were earls in the in the local area. And uh, James Barrymore, I think he was the fourth or fifth earl. He had connections with William of Orange. He helped William of Orange defeat um, James the Second. So when William of Orange was taken over England, there was connections there. So the old church here, it looks like there's a, a church kind of attached to another church inside. So you can just see there the small little chapel area. It's like it's fitted inside the old church. And we'll go down this one and have a closer, a closer look. So that's inside the old church there. And look at the tile work that's on the floor in the altar area. The yeah, so that's the window of the old church. Yeah, just over there you can see right there you can see the the artwork and design stonework that's on that. So it is closed up to have it um caged off down the very end there and the windows are blocked up I suppose for safety reasons but that's what it looks like inside and you can see the windows to the side now, I don't know what this is here it's, it's attached to the old church whether it was an old altar or something or pasture it says a pastor so that's like a priest so i don't see um some of that is in irish i think i don't see a date on it december there is that december ad 1800 is it eight uh there's something there like one four one one four. If you come back up to this way a bit. Just there you can see the one one four. And go down to where it said just can you see there? It says on the just the date. Looks like December. Yeah, it's very hard to see yeah. it. But there is a one one four in it there and I don't know what the rest of it is there. The hounds of Baskerville. Yeah, yeah. So the one in front here that we see is um, the Paird family final resting place. And the Pairds were local landowners or landlords here in the area. Um, we'll go around and show you the front of it. So that's um, inside and it looks like there's nothing there inside, just those stone slabs on the floor. But the strange thing about it is if you come around this way, we have these steps. We have these steps that go up into the paired family crypt or mausoleum area there. 
But when you go up, you have this big gate here and it's locked. But um, straight across the way, over there, you see that black door. Now, that black door is locked and it's inside. Now, I've never seen a mausoleum before, have you? No. I've never seen a mausoleum with a door inside. So it's a, a strange setup to have a door in the very corner of the mausoleum. Now, whether that leads down into the crypt, I'd imagine it leads down into the old crypt. But just around the back of it, as we came around, there is a window there. And uh, I'm sure the window has something got to do with the, the crypt. See this window here? Now, when I put the torch in there, there's just a wall there. So it's hard to see down. So what I'll do now is I'll take the phone off the gimbal and uh, I'll have a look inside and inspect it and see what we can find. So there's that door I was looking at from the far side of the mausoleum. You see the door there was a black door. So that black door has the stairs. So there's the stairs there and it goes all the way down. But the stairs actually just stops down the end. And then you have a wall that's blocked up. Can you see the wall there? So the wall is blocked up. So the stairs lead to nowhere. So it's, it's the stairs that goes down into the crypt. So that's the paired family mausoleum there. And we got a look inside to see what that mysterious door was or where it led to. We have some chest tombs here. So we'll have a look now inside the the Bally Bar or sorry the Barrymore family mausoleum there, that huge one. Earls. There's a number of them there. There's like this fourth and fifth and sixth and seventh and so on. Earls. But just next door to the outside the door entrance of the mausoleum then we have this beautiful headstone here look at this with those faces on it so this is a here lights the body of john newton who departed this life the 26th of july 1748 aged 27 years old beautiful headstone from the 1700s for for john right so this is the the barrymore final resting place and it's a huge mausoleum look at the entrance into it So, of course, these family members would have been involved in Parliament and, you know, owned lots of land, I suppose, as well. So I'm going to try and have a look over there and show you, if I can. Right, so there we have a bust of um, James Barrymore, and he would have been one of the earls. I'm not sure which earl he was, but he was one of the earls that's buried here. You can see his bust there. On it. So there we have the bust of James Barrymore, the Barrymore Mausoleum. 
And just up over James's bus, then we have these beautiful, beautiful angels. You can see them there now. And James's bust is just there. Now, I don't know if we'll be able to read that. It's very, very far away. I can see the name Anne is on it. It's actually a different language. It's a different language, yeah. yeah. Now, the mausoleum, I do know that the mausoleum was, was built in 1753. It was built in 1753 for the Barrymore family. And there is a, a fourth and a fifth earls buried in there. I believe it's in 1747 down the bottom. Yeah. January. January 1747. Age 72. Age 72, yeah. Now it says something there about David at the bottom of it as well. David something. Something about David there as well, yeah. Look at the floor as well, the design. It's a huge space inside, but like they're all um, buried below that. And then over on this side, I don't know if I'll be able to pick up that. Um, you have those lovely little, um, like, niches or something there. Oh, they would have had statues, just one on either side, actually. There would have been little statues in there, yeah. Gone there. There's a better view of it there as well. There's those windows, they look like niches. Yeah, there was little statues in those, I'd say. Just there. So that's the best the best view I can get, guys, of that um the Barrymore Mausoleum. Door. Huge door, yeah. Look at that wrought iron gate they used and the little windows at the side. And there's a big padlock on it. So I think that mausoleum there I was showing you is not paired, it's actually beard, B-E-R-D. So I just wanted to correct that. And just across the way here then, we have a chest tomb. And uh, we'll read the inscription on this. So here light also, it says the body of Richard Beard of Cool Gent, eldest son of um, I don't know what that is. No. Richard. Peard. Is it Peard? That says Peard. And oh no, is it Peard? Yeah, Peard. Oh, it sorry. Peard. Yeah, it's Peard. P E R R D. So the mausoleum is. So the peard. mausoleum is Peard. It's just the local had kind of said, oh, it's it's. Peard. But it's Peard on this. Yeah. Who departed? This life November, and the date has gone off it there. But look down below the year of this one 1684 aged 54 years old now, look at that other people interred here as well they also died in the 1600s and one of them was 83 83 or, yeah one another person died in 1683 or, or four there. so yeah. there we have a very old one there 1684 this chest tomb is so another old find 1600s old look at it um, we have something here at the other side. 1683 there. 1683. Aged 88. Is it? Yeah. There's the age, guys, I was telling you about. Look, aged. Aged. Tell me that. 88. Yeah. 1683, aged 88 years old. Have a look, see the name wow. It says, uh, day. Look, the 28th. 28th day, day of, of 
A N O D O M. Anodam. Anodomini, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. 1680. I think Anodomini is like the year of our Lord, isn't it? I'm not sure. Aged 88. I imagine dying, living to be 88 years old back in 1683. That looks like, like Mrs. And you see the way the 8 actually looks there like a fish? <laughs> So they made the eight look like a fish. Look at that. But there's under here. Look, it says it's look like Mrs. 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 And Kim or something. Could be Camilla from. or Cam something. C A M from. So it's kind in of the parish. Devonshire. It says down here. Yeah. So this is connected to Devonshire, and look what's on it here. Fox, is it? Uh, yeah, it's two a fo foxes. There's one under two foxes on it. Look, so that was obviously there. There is something here as well. Actually. Devonshire, there could be gentry people yeah. like hunting and stuff. Gent on the other side, gent. I bet you that's gentry. What's on this side? Um, there's all these lovely designs on this side. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? There's more foxes there. Look, yeah, so that's your quest, like that. Yeah, there's the foxes again, guys. So it's a 1600s chest tomb, final resting place of the Pairds, P E A R D. 88 years old in 1683, imagine. Like we taught people, when we read headstones in the 1700s, we think people, you know, live to be a great age. But there's one now, 16. He was born in the 1500s. He was born in the 1500s, yeah. Beautiful chest tomb. So we'll go up and read some more around. There's a ladder up against the grave. I don't know what this ladder is for. There's an obelisk. Is that like a. It could be attached to this paired family mausoleum here. The gate is open, so I'll try and. Um, a name on that, it's hard to, to, it's hard to tell, isn't it? I'll go in at the side of it here, so I'm not walking on it. Um, let's see what name we can get on it. William Adams, in memory of his beloved wife, Anne. 1819. Oh. So that's Adams. No connection, to the no connection there at all now. Lovely design on that one. And we can see the window in the background there of the, the paired family. All the route, iron railing, and there's the gate. Look at that. I'll go back out guys here and we'll go around and now here's a lovely look at this tree a magnolia tree in the old graveyard isn't that lovely and when that blooms I'm sure it'll look even prettier There's an old, another um, chest tomb here. No inscriptions, I don't think, on this one. In need of repair. No inscriptions on it, no. See, it's all falling apart there at the side. There's those beautiful mausoleums and the old church rune. There's a route and one here. Old railing around it and this. Is that a rose? Yeah, a bush, is it? It's be gorgeous. Yeah, it's growing right through it's wrapping around the top of the, the railing, look. Going in and out through it. 
So that's it there, yeah. There's no... Um, on the back of the foot, too hard to see, isn't it? Yeah, there's something on the wall there. Looks like the name Cotter. The name is Cotter on that, the Cotter family grave. But you can, if I put the camera down there, you can see it's all the bits of stone have all fallen off the wall there. I'd say that was part of, see the top part where the circle is? There was something in that circle and it fell off. Some old ones. Here we'll try and read. Um, David. David Shan Shanahan, who died in the 27th of February, I think, 1769, age 69 years old. Just beside that, then we have this nice stone one here, erected by Mary Shanahan in memory of um, her father James, who departed this life August 1841, age 53. And just beside that, then we have. This one, like we saw over there, the Newton grave. These faces on them again, look at that, the eyes. Here light the body of David Shanahan, who departed this life April the 19th, 1749, age 41 years old. And they're beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful old graveyard, the huge mausoleum, the Barrymores. So as I was saying, there's connections there to William of Orange. So when William of Orange was taken over, are you know, involved in the takeover of England? Um, the Barrymore, James Barrymore, joined forces there against James II. So some of those there are just kind of newer headstones and um, oh, I just forgot to show you this as well. Uh, just at the back of the Barrymore one there, that window just looks into where we're, where we were looking at the bust of uh, James Barrymore. But just like the other one, then you have this door. Look at that. It's attached to the mausoleum. And there's a lock on it. And there's a hole up over the door. So I'm presuming that this door was um, leading down, there were steps leading down into that crypt. Now, I was talking to a local man who was very helpful there earlier, and uh, he actually showed me where that old grave was, the 1600s grave, the chest tomb of the Pards that's connected to this mausoleum. But this mausoleum here of the Pard family, he said, was... Uh, there was grave robbers back here in the 1970s and he said they actually broke in, got down into the crypt and they actually broke up all the coffins and uh, were looking for valuables, I suppose, because they were wealthy landowners and, you know, I suppose people, when you hear the name wealthy landowners, these people could have owned like a thousand acres of land, you know, so people would presume they were buried with jewels or 
you know, valuables. So it was broken into in the 1970s. And uh, the lead coffins were damaged. So there's the window of the old church. You can see one window through the other window. And it's still parts of the window remain there. Look at that. Right, guys, so I think I'm going to wrap up the video here in Castle Lines Old Graveyard. And across the way there, we have, that's the newer cemetery for the newer burials there. So I'm going to wrap it up there and uh, say thank you for watching the video. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. The bell lets you know when I upload another video. So take care guys. And I'll talk to you soon.